Good morning, Stampers. It is, I almost said it's Friday. It's Monday, hello. Uh, happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. Uh, today is another beautiful day here, and I am excited to share a project with you that I have been thinking about since the um, catalog first came out. So when this came out, there was included in it a stamp set that uh, had a punch, a coordinating punch that's been out of stock forever. Um, but the good news is it's back in stock now. And so I hadn't made this card yet, but I was really excited to get going on it. So this morning, uh, Monday morning, right? Always good with math. I came in and figured out how to make this card so that I could share it with you guys. So I'm really excited about it. Um, don't worry, I did the math for you. You don't have to worry about that part. Um, hey, Elaine and Tanya and Sue and G Ann. Uh, so you ready to see the card? It's like a surprise uh, because this is what comes out of the envelope. So this, you know, birthday card right here. But it is not just um, three little scoops in a cone. It is. I have to come back to see it like this. So, you guys ready to see this card? Hey, Cindy. Um, I know it's going to be a fun one that you're going to want to use a lot of. Uh, it'll be a great staple, especially when you're doing like cards for people who just like fun things that move. So, um, I know it would be a big hit in my family. All right, so I'm gonna show you the scoring directions, which are pretty simple once you've got them figured out. Um, I'm going to show you the um, punching directions because if you look at my, my ice cream scoops, they are kind of special looking. And I am going to show you the embellishing directions for this. So, all right, are you guys ready? <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. And I apologize because I was doing so much extra planning and math this morning. I didn't have time to get the supply list ready if you're watching live. So if you tune back in later or you're watching on YouTube, probably the supply list will be in the video description already, um, but I don't have it quite yet for you. If you can't wait and you have to go, um, you can still use the hostess code that's in the video description. And these supplies are all part of the sweet ice cream bundle. Um, which is, oh, I didn't look it up ahead of time, um, in the catalog here on probably one of these pages that I've marked with a tab, um, apparently further back in the catalog than I thought. You know what? One of the things that's great about these catalogs is that there are a table of, uh, like, index in the back with everything, and that's honestly the easiest place to look. So I'm looking for page 49, and this is the suite. So um, the paper is retiring, and it will be gone um, at the end of June, uh, at the end of June, um, or possibly earlier in June while supplies last, but the punch and the stamp sets are going to continue. So, all right, you guys ready? Let's get going on this. So if you missed the card, let me show it to you one more time. Uh, my computer is doing something weird. Okay, so here is what it looks like in the envelope. And then it comes out and goes like this. Ta-da! Okay, so you have all of those ice cream scoops on there. So let's talk about how this gets done. Um, and to make it easy for you, I have a um, paper here with all of the sizes on it. So I'll put this um, in a blog post later today and um, the blog post will be linked in the video description so you'll be able to see it there. Uh, but basically you're gonna cut your piece of designer series paper and the papers for this um, particular um, Sweet, the sweet ice cream, ice cream corner designer series paper are really pretty. They have um, a couple patterns where they're very specific shapes and then they have some sort of neutrally um, background patterns. And I really like using those for this particular card. This one is very pretty and non-directional on both sides unless you count these little scallops as directional. And in that case, you should know that this is gonna be the bottom of your card um, as you go. But you are going to score this at Whoops, okay, I'm not so great at upside down scoring. So one and three quarters at two and, that's not, wait, one and three quarters, two and, okay, well, I might have to correct that. One and three quarters, two and seven eighths, I think. Um, four and seven, what? Oh, okay, pay no attention to that. All right. 
I changed my, I told you I did a lot of math this morning. Um, so anyway, okay, I'll tell you what they are. So just, if you have a pencil, grab your pencil and I'll tell you, and I'll post on my blog post so you'll know for sure what they are. Okay, um, one and three quarters is the first score line. Uh, two and seven eighths is the next score line. Four and seven eighths is the next score line. Five, uh, is that five and seven eighths is the next score line. I'm not so good at reading upside down. Um, eight inches, wait, yep, eight inches and nine and one eighth. So I know, I apologize for the eighths, but it comes out that way. And your whole paper, um, this part was correct on here, is going to be cut to four um, by 11 and three quarters, okay? I promise it's worth it, all right? If you need a reminder, here's, here's why it's worth it, because that is so stinking cute. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm gonna take my paper now. Um, I really like using my Simply Scoreboard for that because um, it just makes everything come out um, really straight and really even, and then I can make a whole bunch of these. And you're gonna start at the bottom, okay? And then you're just gonna fold your paper back and forth on every one of those score lines. Oh my goodness, oh, I was so afraid it wouldn't come out. But it did, on every one of those score lines. So you have a zigzag, okay? It looks like this and the place that you're gonna adhere this is at the bottom. Now, I'm gonna give it one second before I do that because I want to put in some of my coordinating ribbon and a piece of designer series paper. So, um, this is also from the package. I cut off about half an inch here at the bottom and I am going to uh, go ahead and attach this to near the bottom of my card. Okay, and I love um, those lines just make it easy. And then before I glue this down to my um, base, which is the normal four and a quarter by five and a half, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tie the little um, bow around the front. So um, the nice thing about doing this before you stick anything down is you have two great ways to kind of um, fix, uh, I'll call it fix, even though it's not necessarily a fix, um, to adjust your bow after you've got it tied. So I just get it on here it's really tricky to get this kind of bow tight. So I honestly don't worry about it too much because um, one of the two fixes is going to um, solve that problem for us. So, okay, so I've got a bow on here. Um, I'm not too worried about where the tails go. Uh, all right, so I've got that tied. Mostly um, when I do a bow, my strategy is to get these loops as small as possible because that's honestly, I think what makes it um, look like it's in the right scale for your project. So get those small. And then you can move this around. So that's kind of one of our fixes. And then if this was really slacky, um, what you can do is go to the back side of your project. I'm gonna move my bow up out of the way because I don't want to have it grab while I'm going. I'm gonna put some um, adhesive. So this is my Snail Plus, the really strong stuff. Cause this card, I'm gonna get a lot of wear and tear. It's gonna be a favorite and it's gonna have a lot of hands opening and closing it. So now I'm pulling my ribbon back down here to where I want it, there we go. And I'm gonna press it into the adhesive on one side and then I'm gonna pull out all that slack here. Oh, it's caught on the paper on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna press this again and I'm gonna pull out all the slack here that was in the ribbon on this side and press that down. So now, can you see all that slack that's on the back side of, there you go, the back side of my ribbon, but on the front side, it's really nice and tight. So that is a nice way to adjust your bows. And then I'm gonna go back again with my seal plus. Uh, remember to keep on rolling, roll your wrist past so that your adhesive forwards. And then I'm going to attach this here at the bottom of our card. All right, so now we have our card base set, okay? And now we need to add some scoops of ice cream, right? So we are going to, um, oh, hey, Pam and Rita and Faith. Good to see you guys too. Okay, so we're gonna make our ice cream. Now, one of the papers in here is this one that's really cute on the front, um, but has this amazing um, design on the back. You could, of course, stamp your ice cream cone um, using the stamps from Sweet Ice Cream, but I'm gonna go ahead and punch it um, from this paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in here. And a lot of times I just pick an edge um, so I don't have to waste it. I don't really want the, front part, so I don't wanna have a lot of extra wasted paper, so I'm just going to set that on there. And then this is going to get attached with some Stampin' Dimensionals, and grab, I think these are, let's see, 
Where are, there they are. Okay, those ones um, that I had the first time were a little bit thicker, they're from a paper pumpkin kit. So now our first ice cream cone is going to go um, right under the edge here, okay, so that it, oh, that's too close to the car, edge of the card there. It's gonna go right under the edge here um, so that it looks like um, our first ice cream scoop is going to overlap there, okay? Now, we need a whole bunch of ice cream. So, let me show you how I did that. Um, I love these patches on the front of this, and I love the watercolor effect that they have, and so that's what I wanted to use for my ice cream. Now, um, some of the ice creams are going to show, um, if you kind of look at how the card comes together, some of the ice creams are gonna show um, just mostly at the bottom and have a little overlap at the top. So mostly the bottom of each ice cream scoop is what I wanna focus on having my, my color perfect. Um, so I'm going to trim. Now, if I'm not gonna use this piece here, I might actually trim this off with my paper trimmer because then that's a strip of this really pretty paper that I can use rather than just willy-nilly cutting um, you know, really nilly cutting off little tiny scraps of it, then I can save some of those for other projects. So now I can reach in and punch an ice cream scoop, okay? So then I think I want this one to be another ice cream scoop, so I'm just gonna trim away those little edges and I'm going to punch again. So now I have two purple, um, uh, two purpley ice cream scoops. And then um, I think I'm gonna grab this one and I bet I can get a couple scoops out of here. So again, you could cut away some scraps if you decide you want to try and save some paper or you could honestly just you know, not worry about it too much. This one here, um, when I get there, I'm going to be able to punch the bottom. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that in a second. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, there's three ice cream scoops. Uh, for this one, what I want is I want this to be the bottom of my scoop. So what I'm gonna do, I can't reach in this way because my punch, but I can flip my paper over and reach in this way and grab it, okay? So kind of remember that your paper is multi-sided. So see how now we have that um, pretty purple on the bottom that's gonna show. And then this part, I'm gonna punch again. So let's get rid of some of this extra. <laughs> just flick that paper out of the way and I think I bet I could get two out of this if I oh gosh these are so pretty I love this um, really gorgeous watercolory kind of effect and I'm going to get rid of some scrap there and then I'm going to actually punch we'll get rid of some scrap here um, this one again, but I'm gonna have to do it with that upside down version So I like to do it this way so I can make sure my whole punch is on there um, But I'm flipping my paper to the back side so that I can reach the part that I want and then I think I'll be able to reach in here If I get rid of some of this So we have six ice cream scoops I'm going to pull this in here and if you're getting confused by how many times I'm flipping the paper over, don't stress about it. When you have the paper in your hand, <laughs> you'll be able to see, oh, that's what she was doing. All right, and then I think I'll grab one here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this will be perfect for our ninth one here with just a little bit of white on top. That would work. Okay, all right. See how that works? Uh, maybe I'm gonna do one more, just for good measure to um, I'll do a little bit of variety. So as I put these together, I might kind of go back and forth between the purple and the coral. Um, so that gives me a little bit more variety. Okay, let's get rid of the scraps. Okay, all right, so we have a pile of ice cream scoops and we have a um, card that needs some ice cream on it. So. Um, we're gonna do our ice cream and then I'm gonna show you how the greetings work and then I'll show you how the embellishments work. So first thing um, is to figure out the three that are going to go right here on the front and I want a lot of nice contrast here. So I'm going to pop this on and I like dimensionals for these because um, a dimensional is really easy to take off if you realize that you have made an error, okay? So if I decided this was in the wrong place, it would be really easy for me to spin this um, element right on that one dimensional and that would pop right off for me, okay? 
Now my second one is going to pop right on top of that. So this time I'm gonna put my dimensional here so that I don't accidentally overlap um, this layer here, okay? So this one is going to pop on here like this and line up in our ice cream cones. And then my final one I think is gonna be this pretty um, one here on top, okay? So it's going to go up here, or actually maybe the, ooh, I kind of like that one. We're going with a light violet, purple posy. Um, I'm gonna pop this on here and add my purple posy. Okay, now we have our basic card, but we don't have all those things in between because right now it's really sad. Like It's like ice cream flying all over the place and nobody likes, that's always sad. It always ends up on the ground. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go back and we need to add the ice cream in between. So for each one of these, um, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, I know I'm off the edge of the screen, places where we're adding some ice cream um, scoops. So you can kind of plan them out, you can figure out where you wanna go, um, but one of the things we're gonna wanna do is double check, okay? I like this one here, but before I totally stick that down, um, I'm gonna check it. You see how I kinda, I've set it on here and then I'm just gonna roll this over and it does um, work well, so it kind of covers it up, so it's not real obvious, but it sits there like that. Then I'm gonna pop one more ice cream in here, and I need kind of a contrast, I think. Maybe I'll pop a pink um, in here. And you want to overlap. Um, do you see how I made the um, top ice cream here? Can you see it from the side? See how I made that top ice cream overlap there? Um, for our one that's gonna fit here, I wanna make sure that the top of this one doesn't overlap this score line. And the first time you make this card, um, you might get them a little bit off place, which is why we're using dimensionals, because it's really easy to take those off and reposition them. But you can see here, so now when this folds, the top of this ice cream scoop is still gonna be on this panel of the card. But you'll notice that it has this um, problem now because it overlaps the bottom, that's okay. So what you can do is you can um, go ahead and bring your scoring thing back in here and you can score on that line, or you can just be really deliberate, make sure you're consistent with your score line that's making our card fit, and you can fold it there. And that little bit is just going to have a fold on it, okay? So it's not terrible, the ice cream's still cute, um, but it's just part of the way that the ice cream scoop fits, so. Okay, so next, um, is to pop this one up here. So same thing, it's just gonna go on a dimensional. I'm gonna kind of butt it up there against that score line so that the top of the ice cream doesn't have to fold. And then I need to put another ice cream in here. And here's a nice contrasty one. Um, actually, a lot of this one might be hidden. So maybe I'll do this with my white one. It's like that vanilla drizzle on top or something. Okay, and again, I need this one to not go past the score line here so it can't go up here, it has to stop the score line, um, which means the bottom part of it is what's going to fold on the bottom. So now I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna keep my same score line. I'm gonna stick that little ice cream in there and so that it folds um, just at the right spot, okay? All right, and then um, the last two parts here, I have extra ice cream so I can pick and choose. I think I'm gonna do that. Again, pop your dimensional on your card. Stick the ice cream on so that it butts up to the score line but doesn't pass it. And then this guy that's gonna go on the inter intervening panel, he goes up to the score line and doesn't pass it, which means his little um, bottom ice cream frills need to be little um, folded at the bottom, okay? All right, so then we have our giant, oh my gosh, it's so big that it doesn't even fit on the screen, scoop of ice cream that is um, this unsuspecting little triple dip cone in the envelope. Okay, so ready for greetings? Because the greetings really make this card. Oh, hi guys. Um, hey, Angela. Okay, so the greetings are really fun. This stamp set has a variety of, oops, extra dimensionals, a variety of extra cute ones. Um, it can be a birthday card, it could be a thank you card, it could be really anything, like treat yourself would be a fun retirement card, um, graduation, all kinds of things. So what we're gonna do is uh, make this a birthday card because I love this with sprinkles on top and hope it's sweet. And um, we're gonna pop all of these into our elements. So first I need a um, piece here. 
that is uh, happy birthday. So this is gonna be my Blackberry Bliss ink, um, which is this nice rich purple that I used for our card backing. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna trim it pretty close because we have a lot of fun on the front of our card and I don't wanna cover it all up, okay? All right, and then I'm going to come back with those extra two greetings. And I have, I don't know about you guys, but I have tons of these little narrow scraps laying around um, from cutting layers of cards. And so I love when I can put them to use. So I have Hope It's Sweet and I better grab a different one um, with sprinkles on top. And I'm stamping those. I know they're upside down for you. I'm putting them really close to the bottom because I want to trim these to be even narrower. So the piece of cardstock they're cut up, they're stamped on is really closer to um, a quarter inch because they are um, they're just cute and little and the way they're gonna fit on our cards. So all right. All right, so where do these go? Like how do you position these so that they add to the fun instead of like disappearing? So the trick is to get happy birthday on here. So if this was a regular card, I would probably put it about right here. So what I'm gonna do is overlap. Can you see there's a, a line right there? So my greeting is gonna go here. Uh, there you can kind of see, but I can't just adhere it just willy nilly anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is put two tiny Stampin' Dimensionals on the top edge. Okay, so that's going to anchor it. It's gonna have a nice firm hold. Stampin' Dimensionals are an excellent adhesive. And they are going to hook right there on the bottom of that element, okay? So we have our greeting across there. And then when you open the card, we want the rest of our stuff to pop up. So um, I'm gonna include um, Hope It's Sweet, and that's gonna be part of our pop, and our pop, and then with sprinkles on top. Or how about with sprinkles on top and then Hope It's Sweet? I kinda like it like that. So the trick is you want to position these where they're hidden when the card is closed. So for that, I'm going to pop this one onto um, this hidden panel. So this is gonna be the kind of inverted panel here. So this one is going to go here with sprinkles on top and then Hope It's Sweet is gonna get two mini dimensionals also. Um, you could also use the edge pieces from your regular Stampin' Dimensionals. And this is going to go here because this panel is hidden when I close this, okay? And I'm gonna actually stick it out here in the margin, okay? And then finally, you want a place to like write your message or whatever. So I'm gonna pop an extra bit on here, um, trim this, actually maybe I'll do a, a wide, Nah, I like the smaller one. If you want to write more, you can uh, add more, but you could have actually a couple little elements here. We'll do a couple. Um, and one of them, I'm just gonna put down flat. So it's hidden here. So this is where you would like do your little, you know, hope your birthday's great. And I'm gonna make both of them flat. They don't need to be popped up. Hope your birthday's great, love you so much, whatever you're actually writing in there. And I don't want them to line up. So I need to go a little bit further in. There we go. Okay, so now, do do do, fold all those layers of our card. And here is the um, start. And then when you open it, of course, you have all those messages that pop up. So this is the card that I've been dying to make since we got this stamp set. It needs embellishments though, don't you guys think? So the fabulous embellishments um, that are part of this suite are the ice cream sprinkles and they are these cute little um, confetti pieces and they're pretty dimensional. If you haven't seen these in person yet, um, they are darling. Uh, Trish says, what a cool card. Hee hee hee. I love it. <laughs> um, hi, Carol. Okay, so um, multi-purpose liquid adhesive is my fave for these. And these right now, I will say, um, I looked this morning, um, demonstrators can look at inventory status reports and give you a little extra insight um, so I know a lot of um, things shipped last week, a lot of the oval punches, the ice cream um, cone punches, those things. So if you've been waiting for an order that you placed, it might be coming very soon. So check your email for shipping notifications. Um, but these are still in back order, yet still orderable, which is always a good thing. Um, they're due to come into the warehouse sometime this week, um, which of course is subject to change, who knows, with customs and ships and things like that. Um, but they're not projected to be a long back order at this point. So, all right, enough talking, more sticking sprinkles. 
All right, so sprinkles should go um, concentrate on top and I desperately need my take your pick tool for this because these guys are tiny and I think um, any color goes for this. Oops, and of course then I picked the two ones that disappear on our disappear on our thing. There's a uh, peachy one and maybe we'll go with a yellow one and a blue one. Um, I do love my take your pick tool for something like this. Um, it's just super convenient. So let's get another pinky one. And at this rate, you can see that these sprinkles will last you a really, really long time. And let's pop one more on there. Okay, um, with the uh, multi-purpose liquid glue, if you can see it, it is enough glue. You don't really want gobs on there. Okay, and then you could, of course, decide you want sprinkles on every single one of your ice cream scoops or just a few of them or whatnot. So, okay, you guys wanna see more card ideas with this? More ice cream card ideas. So here is one that I shared um, a couple weeks ago. This one used the um, colored vellum technique idea. And this um, is one you can see the tutorial for. I'll add a link in the description. It's not there right at this moment, but if you're watching later, um, I'll add it. This was a faux DSP card base card, um, which was based on one that we did um, for last month's Logan Stamps monthly tutorials. Here is another card. This is by Michelle Grimble. Um, and I love this. It is like the... Um, just perfect design with super simple stamping and just really makes the most of it. So she used that ice cream paper in the background and then punched and stamped, um, or punched one cone just like we did here with the paper to go on here and then um, just love this. So this is probably a piece of designer series paper that is three by three um, and then it's layered on four and a quarter by three and a quarter blackberry mat. I love that card layout. And then I don't know if Jenny's here. I haven't seen a comment from her yet, but I always like to show her card, which um, was a swap and a demonstrator swap. And can you see the background of this? So she used the Simple Score board, which we used to make our ice cream um, lay our ice cream surprise card. Um, she used that to score the background of a simple piece of crumb cake cardstock, and then she stamped and added this um, ice cream cone to go with it. But check out that fun texture. It's super um, ice cream cone. So anyway, I like that idea. It was really, very cute, Jenny. Um, so uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed our ice cream surprise this morning. Oh my goodness, there we go. Um, Ice cream surprise this morning because here I can show you the whole thing. Ah, the whole thing here. There we go. And then when we open our card, it goes like this and there's a ton of ice cream scoops on there and all kinds of fun designs. So um, yeah, I will post um, the actual uh, picture on a blog post later today. So you can watch for that at lovenstamps.com and it will include the scoring directions for making this card because now that you've seen it, like, can you possibly, can you not want to make it? I don't think so. Um, but the good news too is that that ice cream um, cone builder punch is back in stock on the store. So you can uh, get that and get stamping with your ice cream cones. So, all right guys, it's, uh, Hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend and I wish you a wonderful week. Happy Monday. And I will be back on Wednesday with another Maker Morning Meg, Maker Mornings with Meg video, um, 9.30. We're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday for, for the foreseeable future, um, 9.30 Central Time. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Happy Monday.